Oh, why the title Little Red Riding Hood and Robin Hood hit the road? Does he have anything? Uh, it's just play on words? Just gratuitous? Well, no. See, it's the same thing. Just because something is a play on words doesn't make it meaningless. It's life. Did you expect the listener to make to make his own mind about what you, what you, you make about that? Because people say it's just surreal. It's, it's but but it's not just surreal. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, because even that implies that there's. I mean, there is a problem I find with, like, for example, with um, musical analysis or uh, uh, analysis of art, whereby there's this thing whereby the artist was trying to say something, but um, was quite incapable of saying it properly. So it needs an art critic to explain what he meant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You know what I mean? And so uh, I think it's sort of, there's more languages than verbal narrative to communicate. And there are more things to communicate. I mean, take an obvious example. If certain smells are nice, certain, obviously flowers, but it might be coffee or bacon or something. I mean, you can think of a rational thing why you like the smell of bacon or coffee, but a lot of smells are very personal or horror But it's a different language. It is not... In the end, there's no way you could really explain to somebody who couldn't smell what a smell is or why it evoked what it evoked or why it made you feel good or bad. You could just say it did. There is a thing called a coffee and when you cook it, it does something to your, goes in a hole in your head and it's nice. But somebody who couldn't smell, that would, that's all you could tell them. If they can't smell the coffee, there's no way around it. They can't smell the coffee. So get it, you know. I mean, you can analyse afterwards why something works, but all I'm saying, and everybody can add a contribution, I don't mean to be rude about rock critics or music critics, because they can add a fantastic understanding to things, but the person making it doesn't necessarily think like that. So that, for example, take an example, everybody knows, uh, say, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, Van Gogh, or Van Gogh, as they call him in America. He was painting all his life, and it's intense and wonderful stuff. And uh, he does write a lot of stuff to his brother about it. But really, you don't have to read anything that he wrote to his brother, Theo, about Mm -hmm. the meaning of the paintings. You just follow the trajectory of the paintings, and it takes you, I think, deep and far into the landscape of the heart. And... uh, that is a great control of paint and visual language that he has. If somebody else can do a parallel in words inspired by what he does, like I just tried to do, uh, that's nice, you know. But he doesn't have to do that as well. He only has to do it silently by looking and painting. It doesn't mean to say that he's thinking consciously all those things that the viewer is thinking in order to do it. It's not. Uh, He's coming from somewhere else, as the Americans say. I'm sounding a bit rude. I'm not trying to invalidate any way of looking at it. I'm only saying that what I'm really trying to say is that artists aren't, we're not actually as intellectually clever, or at least I'm not, as art lovers think we are. We're much more instinctive what we're doing. But it doesn't mean it's meaningless. It just means that we don't know how to say it in any other language. Yeah. This is one of the things that fascinates me about, though, the difference between in language the French and Spanish words for to mean are mm-hmm. compared with the English. So that you have, well, I mean, I have not a student of Bart and all that stuff, but this is the very word French. If you want to say, I, I, want, I mean something, you say, I want to say it. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you say it in, in Spanish too, quiero decir que no, 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 Whereas to mean something doesn't necessarily mean that's what it wants to say at all. You know, I mean, it's not the same thing. <laughs> To mean something, what it signifies to the person what I mean, if you take, for example, the beauty of uh, religious artifacts and establishments. Now, what it vouloir dire is, God is wonderful, you know, watch mm-hmm. out. But what it signifies to me, who has no God, is what fantastic ingenuity humans can conjure up to celebrate their life. So, so what it, that's what it signifies to me. But what it vouloir dire is, means nothing to me. I think mosques are beautiful, but I'm not a Muslim. So that's the problem right there. So I sometimes mm-hmm. think that people are sort of orientated towards thinking in a certain way simply because of the way their language is constructed. Mm-hmm. And so the French think 
they get confused between <laughs> to mean and to voodoo and to what to say. And so you caused a lot of your questions about, you know, did you want to say this? Did you want to say that? You don't know. How can you not know? And then you're puzzled because I say, I don't know what I wanted to say until afterwards. It kind of doesn't make sense because I'm not voodoo deering. <laughs> yeah.